What is it with your girl Q? And I have a message for you, Taurus, Sun, Rise, and Venus. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you're returning, what's up, gang? What's up, soul, baby? These are going to be your weekly messages from March 25th to the 31st. Um, be on the lookout for you guys' monthly read. Um, that will be posted uh, by the end of this week. So yeah, don't forget to like, uh, comment, share, and subscribe. And I also will be doing um membership so if you want to be a part of that be part of uh be ready for that i also will be uh doing another reading for you guys on my other taurus fairy channel okay so be prepared for that as well too so let's get these weekly messages for you guys okay um someone is competing with you secretly this person is very unpredictable and hyper competitive okay this also could be a virgo so we're gonna get to you guys' messages you guys we have the Six of Wands. You definitely could be in the spotlight right now. Get a lot of attention. Four of Swords in reverse. You're, 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 you guys could be coming out of this resting period, okay? You guys already got all the things that you need to uh, move forward when it comes to the situation, okay? You already got the confirmation when it comes to something as well, too. I feel like you're not focused on love right now, and somebody could be jealous of you because you're not focused on, you know, whatever's going on as well, too. You guys could be definitely walking away from somebody as well, too. Um, we're going to get messages. This definitely... Definitely could be an ex of yours in your energy that you walked away from because I feel like this level there was a level of um, somebody playing the field when it comes to a situation. We have the Knight of Cups, okay, two of uh, Wands, and the Queen of Swords. Definitely, um, let's get these clarification uh, cards for you guys. The High Priestess, definitely. You're in the spotlight right now because of your intuition or whatever you do for work. You guys could definitely be an intuitive reader. Okay, we have the High Priestess clarifying the Six of Wands. The King of Swords clarifying the Four of Swords in reverse. The Five of Clubs clarifying the um, Five of Wands in reverse. I'm hearing uh, clubs could be very significant as well, too. You guys could be a host. Okay, the Temperance clarifying the Nine of Cups in reverse. The Three of Pentacles clarifying the Lovers in reverse. Okay, somebody could be being recognized for a breakup. The Four of Cups clarifying the... Um, the eight of cups the ten of swords clarifying the um nine of cups okay um the world clarifying the two of wands and the two of pentacles clarifying the queen of swords i feel like you guys are juggling a lot right now you guys are very much so taking on this strong responsibility right now as well too okay crystals can be very significant as well too but i feel like your intuition is telling you something about a victory and success when, when uh attainment you're attaining something right now okay and somebody is jealous because of this um and you're gonna get confirmation about it um this person can be very much so somebody who is very analytical or you guys are being viewed as somebody who's analytical um you're coming out of conflicted energy and out of like you guys could be grieving about something okay there could have been a bad uh argument when it came to a situation that you released yourself from or there's a level of arguments going on around you um 55 can be very significant um in 44 um there's a level of um you bind to yourself after this jealous energy tries to inflict you Okay, or trying, is trying, somebody is currently trying, this week you're going to be feeling the energy, Mercury retrograde in Aries is very significant, but there's a level of this week, you're balancing your energy, not focusing on this jealous type of energy, okay, you're, you're, you're alchemizing a level of something, okay, we're going to get more clarifications as well too, um, also I'm looking at the lovers that's right here on the top of the deck, I mean at the bottom of the deck, but it's the top right here, I'm mean, at the top of the deck, I'm hearing tomato, tomato, okay? You guys can be walking straight towards disappointment because I feel like there's a level of somebody being fake towards you. And I feel like you you know who this person is, but you don't want it to be this person. You guys can be focusing on your future right now. Well, you have something coming towards you, but you're focusing on this hurt right now or somebody's hurt, focus, somebody's hurt about something right now. Somebody has a lot to offer the world, but they're focusing on something else right now. Let's get these clarifications. I feel like there's a level of you balancing something though. What's this six of wands in this high priest? What's the we're gonna get clarification cards? Clarification cards for my Tauruses. Don't forget to like the video, you guys. And don't forget to subscribe to your other YouTube channel. Okay, I will be uploading on here. King of uh, Pentacles clarifying. Yeah, you're climbing more in a stable energy, okay? So you just need to be mindful of energies trying to compete with you. You just really do, okay. The Seven of Swords, yeah, with the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles, definitely could be um, a family member, okay, that is a Virgo. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles as well, too. This very much so, uh, you have a long-lasting wealth, wealth when it comes to the situation, okay? You guys can be um, 
having family achievements as well too. What's this temperance in this Nine of Cups in reverse? Six of Cups. This is somebody from your past that you cut off. It could be a Sagittarius. Also, this Vir the Virgo does not want to be seen or known as well too. What is this Lovers in Reverse in the Three of Pentacles? And my cards keep bending. Like, don't bend when it comes to the situation. Yeah, you're holding back or you could be holding on to something. Somebody is holding on to something. This person could be holding on to something. Keep in mind, what I'm saying could be the opposite. Okay, as well too. I'm hearing vice versa. Somebody's too possessive when it comes to something. And they could be looking at something, holding on to something too tightly. Okay, we have this Eight of Cups with the Eight of Cups, definitely. Disappointed, leaving action, okay, change, abandoned. This is somebody that you abandoned that's in your energy this week. This is the Shadow of Mercury Retrograde of Aries. Seek higher meaning, wisdom, okay? You're being rational about a situation, articulate about, and truthful about this ending when it came, when it came to this um, situation. Okay, what's this two of wands in the world? Ooh, okay, the devil. Oh yeah, you could be getting a lot of attention right now. Definitely. What's this Queen of Swords? Somebody swore something. I'm hearing swore on the oath could be very significant. Somebody swore you wasn't going to be something, nothing. Hmm. What's this Queen of Swords in this Two of Pentacles? Now they're nervous about something. They swore you wasn't going to do something or like, I don't know. Somebody wants you to be afraid of them. Yeah, somebody is trying to sabotage something. So be mindful of that. Okay, definitely could be somebody who... um. I want to say it's close to you, but I don't want to say that. A Scorpio could be very significant. You're a man of action right now. And there's a level of misconceptions going on around you or about you. Okay, so let's get these messages. What's currently going on for Taurus? King of Wands, business. You're doing good in business right now you're doing very good in business right now and it's going to be a level of you guys um getting receiving something getting something okay there's going to be a level of you guys getting a home okay somebody is going to be very much so anxious about something they can't like they have nobody to blame anymore definitely somebody has nobody to blame anymore with this world as well too they see you being very successful in this emperor somebody's definitely um obsessed with your position in this world who is this person secretly competing with Taurus spirit this week the lovers okay somebody could be a Gemini okay Sagittarius could be very significant I feel like there's a level of working together online but there's a level of somebody trying to compete with you and somebody's lying about something okay Yeah, an unbalanced relationship, an unbalanced partnership, a level of disharmony. Communication can be very significant. Manipulation as well, too. Misreading things. Somebody who thinks they're annoyed all, that can be very significant. But I feel like you guys are... I'm hearing villain as well, too. But I feel like you guys are very much so... Like, you guys are the, like, writer to your own story, of course. But I don't know what the fuck somebody thinks they're doing. What do you want to be brought to uh, Taurus's awareness spirit? A new start, okay? Be mindful of somebody who backstabbed you or is jealous of you wanting a new start. The spirit of adventure could be very significant, could be in Aries. What is this? The What is the fool in the Ten of Swords for what you want to be brought to their awareness? Page Swords, somebody's talking about you. This person is very much so talking about your investments. Or they could want to invest in you. But I feel like there's a level of jealousy. Stabber could be very significant. Zone. Amazon. Zon. Zion could be very significant. You're very outspoken. And there's a level of deceptiveness that's, that is very significant when it comes to uh, these people or this energy. Okay. 
any advice this week for going hermit mode okay um don't start analyzing people pay attention to people on how they're speaking um about you around you pay attention to the things that people are saying about you okay yeah the truth pay attention okay just pay attention and um become more deeply intellectual about these talkative people who could be trying to speak uh ill will on you or trying to play you okay final messages don't forget to like the video also i will be offering memberships like i said okay so be ready for that and um feel free to check out your other Taurus channel i will be uploading a video a weekly message for you guys uh today so be ready for that okay because you guys have been supporting me so much you guys always get more than a thousand views okay you guys are always liking the video okay so let's get these messages all right final messages for Taurus temperance okay you guys are balanced okay you guys can be reconciling with somebody as well too or be mindful of somebody trying to reconcile with you you have great foresight okay trust yourself okay trust yourself to create new things and there's a level of uh, transformation happening okay that you don't see definitely transforming into a level of balance and security i feel like you guys can be walking straight in towards unbalanced situations okay unbalanced friendships and you're going to be very much so um aware of um who to give your energy and who to not to, okay? Don't be led astray, okay? Do not be led astray. Don't take wrong actions when it comes to situations. Control your energy because you guys are the bull, okay? You guys are the bull. Your emotions can be very much... You guys can be a kind soul, but your anger kind of gets the best of you. And that's what happens a lot. It happens a lot. And it's okay. Okay, just heal that, okay? Therapy can be very significant. 10, 10 can be very significant. But yeah, you guys are the chosen one. You guys could take a lot of burden from your family, but yeah, I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like the video and be ready for you guys' monthly read this week. Also, don't forget to subscribe to your other channel. I will put it down below. Love you guys. Bye.